Right now we are in airport in Chiang Mai and today we plan go to Hanoi. Hanoi, Vietnam. My tourist visa in Thailand here is going to an end. So I need to leave the country. We're going to go and spend probably a couple of weeks in Vietnam starting in Hanoi. So we'll show you around. First we have to have the bus in the airport. This is what we got. It looks amazing. Okay, welcome to Hanoi, the capital city of Vietnam. Do you know in Vietnam? Ho Chi Minh is big number one and Hanoi is second one. So we arrived last night and I must say we were a little bit tired so we just put our heads down and then we went out and partied. We partied until Hanoi closed, didn't it? So we got home about half past two in the morning, I think. Now we've obviously woken up late and now we're going out to find an ATM, obviously, and some breakfast. And we understand there's a fee-free ATM about a 15 minute walk that way. So we're going to do that to save ourselves some money and I'm sure it'll give us a nice view along the way. Right, we're looking for this elusive cash point that apparently charges no fees because the fees for withdrawing cash here on an ATM card can be even more abusive than Thailand for foreign banks, bank accounts. Here we are. Let's have a look at this. The elusive, the VP Bank Express. We will leave the link in the description. A very successful transaction at VP Bank here. Five million dong maximum withdrawal. And apparently no fees. I'll check that when I get onto my app. There were some other tourists that joined me afterwards, so I think probably people are knowing about this. Four security guards outside and an extra security guard in a different uniform who seemed to have some sort of dagger uh, in his uh, utility Batman belt. And uh, when I asked him to show me his dagger, he very quickly sauntered off back inside the bank. So <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't video him, sadly. There we are, so VP Bank, apparently the cheapest place to withdraw cash in, uh, in Hanoi. Lots of pronunciation fun here. This is called <clears throat> something like, I'm just gonna call it the legend and we've stopped here because it's right on the lake. Look at this. Anything for you, dear? Yes. All right, so first challenge for Rose, we're gonna try out the different coffees. Here I have a Vietnamese Coffee. This is the Vietnamese white coffee, which is roughly equivalent to a latte. You can see we've got coffee and then there's like different, three different layers of milk. I think they said there was normal milk, coconut milk, and maybe a little bit of condensed milk. And then here is a more European looking Italian style coffee. So we'll take a video of Rose trying both and see what happens. I take Vietnam first. Okay. Mm. Smell so good and tastes like chocolate. Very nice. Like Milo. Oh, really? Now, now try the uh, Italian style coffee. Oh, wow. Yes, this is uh, more strong. You can taste coffee. And this is, you can taste like Milo milk, something yeah, like that. like a milky coffee. Yes, I think when you come to Vietnam, you can try everything because I don't know what you like, but I prefer this one. Right, so you're keeping the Italian coffee and I'm, I'm gonna have the Milo. Ah, oh, the food coming. Food's arrived. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. This is for you or for me? Me. Oh wow, look at that. Cake. This is my, I think it's stir fried pork with dumplings. Mm -hmm. This looks alright. Looks, looks okay. So good. Yeah, it does. It does look really good. Stir fried prawns, onions, and mushrooms, yeah? Yeah. I have to say, I'm really enjoying my food. I'd forgotten how good Vietnamese food is. Thai food is oftentimes 
spicy, lots of, well, full flavours in one. Vietnamese food is much more individual flavours. Almost simpler ingredients than Thai. Beef and black bean sauce with these, they look like deep fried dumplings. Just incredible. Rose is going to tell us, because she's trying to make this channel more informative and educational. And obviously I'm encouraging her to learn more English. So you're, you're going to say, in Rose's unique and particular way, the story about this lake in Hanoi, Vietnam. Over to you, Rose. At this lake before, they have story about the king for protect the Vietnam War before with the uh, Chinese. Not the Vietnam War, as we call it. This is the war before that, the war with the Chinese, yeah? Go ahead. Have one guy him fight to Chinese. When you say one guy, was he the king or? The king him fights, but him not win. And one day, uh, have the total in this wreck come under water and keep the knife for him for fight with the war. And after that, when him have the knife already, and him fight and him win. When the war finished, this man want to say thank you for the total, and him keep knife back for total. And after that, this wreck is uh, people make statue total for remember that total. We've seen a few statues of turtles, haven't we? Yeah. And just before we get any uh, comments from people that haven't watched our channel before, this is quite interesting because when I met Rose, you didn't really have much knowledge or interest in history, learning about things before. Mm. I didn't either, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. But now, you're, now that you're starting to travel outside of Thailand and see new places, you're actually learning about where you're going mm. and okay the english we've had to simplify and i'm sure you can go on wikipedia and read the full story if you want but i think you've captured the essence of the story here rose and <laughs> part of the fun with this channel is because rose's english is not 100 percent yet the the listener has to fill in the gaps uh, and so yeah let us know if you understood rose's story about the turtle which sounds like maybe the king was losing the war and then a turtle visited him, Yeah. gave him a knife, he went back to fight the war, won the war, and so then they built statues to the tur turtle to say thank you for giving the king or the warrior the knife, yeah? Very good, Rose, well done. I understood it. <laughs> Saves me from reading Wikipedia, so well done you. <laughs> this lake is have the name Huang Kiem, or in Thai I can call Menam Khun Da. Right now we finish the food and we just walk around this lake. And next to the lake, there's all these little coffee shops, which is nice. So first impressions, I have to say, I think Hanoi is more beautiful than Ho Chi Minh City. Very first impressions, obviously we've only been here a very short time, but I don't recall seeing a lake with beautiful pavements and cafes like this, and also, People say the traffic in Hanoi is mega bad with motorbikes everywhere. This is nothing like Ho Chi Minh City. Do you remember trying to cross the road in Ho Chi Minh? Yeah. Scary. Here, no problem. I want to tell you, for British people who want to come to Vietnam, no visa can stay in Vietnam 45 days. And for Thai people can come here 30 days, no visa. It's nice. Yeah, we didn't arrange a visa in advance. I just got a 45-day visa on arrival stamp. You had a 30-day one. And interestingly, we weren't asked to evidence our uh, departure travel because we haven't booked a flight departing yet. We don't know how long we're going to stay in Vietnam. Uh, we know that we can stay a maximum of 30 days, or if I want to send home Rose early and stay longer, I can. Never do that, baby. Ooh. You can see, background is cloudy. Yeah. Is this the bad air quality, do you think? I'm not sure. Nice city so far. Fruit and sausages. Yeah. Hello. Interesting. Okay, here's the entrance to Confucius Temple. Let's see what's what. Maybe we have to come early tomorrow. It looks super busy. 50,000 dong for a ticket. But I'm just looking at the crowds on the bridge, look. That's not going to be enjoyable. Let's come back early tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. Bread with butter and cheese. You see this cow? Oh, a bit of laughing cow. No. Looks good. 
<laughs> so now we're walking up one of these little soys, one of the side streets. There are pavements, but you can see the shopkeepers have put their their wares out to sell actually on the pavements, which is Asia. Interesting buildings, aren't they? Yes, look at that. We are going to attempt to cross the road and go for a coffee. So right, here we go, gotta be brave. We're at the infamous Highlands Plural Coffee in Hanoi, Vietnam. That is strong. So that's a Thai coffee with some milk. And look at this, a chicken banh mi. Oh, that's really tight filling, isn't it? Look at that, it's chicken and tea. So let's give it a go. Delicious. Look at this traffic. It's dark. Oh, wow. Cannot to go everywhere. This is fascinating. Look, that black car, for whatever reason, is driving too gingerly. Got overtaken by a street seller selling clothes. Look, look at all the bikes. Absolutely no patience. <laughs> I would like to show you at night in Hanoi. Let's go check out to get there. Good morning. Breakfast at a little cafe called Ban Mi 25. Ban Mi is a Vietnamese bread roll with some delicious fillings. Rose here has got... Rice soup, half it's, eggs, Yeah, it's pork. a barbecued pork pate egg in a pan with a couple of bread rolls. Yes. I've got myself a chicken and cheese Ban Mi and uh, pork barbecue pork special banh mi. I have a coffee. Thank you, Rose, for modeling that. Rose has an iced latte. Oh no, Coconut. coconut iced latte, I'm sorry. It all looks really delicious. We may have over-ordered though, because the banh mi's are like pound thirty each, so I just assumed they would be quite small. They're not. <laughs> Bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so we may, have, we may have overcooked this. My food is amazing. Out of 10? Yes, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. You heard it here first. This is the first time I eat this. But mm. I see a lot of people order and I copy them. Uh, very nice. Yes, I come back again in this world. I'm sat here wondering how Vietnamese people seem to be so thin and yet the quantity of bread served for breakfast here is astonishing. Mm. <laughs> you eat that every day, you look like me. <laughs> Right now, we want to take you go to indoor market. Dong Suan Market is big number one in Hanoi. Inside here, they sell everything you need. The sell shoes, bag, food, dessert. You can come here for Thai local food. And when you come to this area, have everything you need. Let's go check out together. Some sort of deep fried shrimp, is it? Mm. Not for me. Okay, sunny day today. This is another day in evening next to the lake. You can enjoy exercise with them.
so you can hire these remote controlled cars look some of them are quite fast like this little one here oh wow <laughs> they've closed the road to traffic well most traffic <laughs> miniature traffic so out look at this tank <laughs> a very very thin hotel hotel Ooh. Rose just dropped her iPhone. This is the room we stay in Hanoi Guy for three nights. Have two. That's all they had left was the twin beds. Mm -hmm. It's very compact and bijou, isn't it? And the room's sort of on an angle, so I've got my shoes there, as you can see at the bottom. Not TV. too much place to unpack a bag. There's a TV there. I'll just talk the tour a little bit here and then hand you back to Rose because the room is not big enough for all of us to walk in at the same time. They have the fees for you. Mm -hmm. We have to pay for the drink. Water's free, but everything else you have to pay for, yeah. Wardrobe, makeup table, mm -hmm. coffee, and this one is the bar. The room. shower room. Right. It's not big enough for all of us, is it? So there we are. That's <laughs> it's quite tight. And I'll show you the view. We booked the hotel last minute and basically this hotel has got superb reviews because the staff are amazing, which we've already experienced but also the location you'll see. There's a cafe and there's a lake. So we're just gonna uh, unpack a little bit. I don't know where we're gonna unpack, but we're gonna unpack a little bit. This room per night is 1,500 baht. There's no breakfast. There is a rooftop cafe, but no breakfast included. Okay. But we're right in the heart of the old quarter, so I think it's not gonna be a trouble finding food. We've got the, the, the lift, lift here. But here's a room for Rose to do her YouTube. Don't worry about the lights, just go straight out, love. So anyway, there's like some seating. This is what you pay your money for, look. You can see people walk around. So yeah. basically, this is the prime location in Hanoi. There's the famous multi-story coffee shop, cafe complex. There's the roundabout. And just the other side of the roundabout is the lake. Now it's all been blocked off tonight because there's a street market going on which if I take you to the other side of the balcony you'll be able to see. There you go. Can you see there's like it's turned into a walking street market pretty much as far as the eye can see actually. There's a nice hotel up there, Maidaville Hotel. That looks so it's got a bit more space. And there's on top of our hotel a coffee shop look. Right, so we've got to go back out to this cash point which doesn't, doesn't charge fees. That's the other side of the lake. Probably a 10 minute walk. So it's 8 p.m. in the evening and we're being picked up tomorrow at seven o'clock in the morning to do our next little tour. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please like, subscribe and support me. See you next video. Bye bye. bye, -bye.